All right, so today we have an HGA reveal video. All cards in this video are Kobe Bryant's, and they are all rookie cards. I sent in 10, and I already pre-opened it, but I have not looked at any other cards. All right, so let's start. All right, so let's flip them over. These are, these are my cards. I already saw one, let's see which way, I can't tell. But anyway, uh, so I'm not expecting all nines or 9.5, tens, but I would expect maybe one, you know, maybe one ten. Let's, oh right but i'm expecting a lot of probably more sevens so here is a Kobe bryant uh skybox new editions nice slab by the way um very clear um and i received a nine on that this is actually quite awesome i was not expecting a nine by the way um this color here in person is probably more turquoise, I guess. I did card match on pretty much everything with the exception of like one. I think I did team match and I may regret doing that now because it is a Kobe high school card that I did. It's an autograph high school card and they might team match it to the Lakers and not to his lower Marion high school. But this is going to be a nice return here. And yes, I will be selling these cards. I did a 10 day uh, return. So yeah, that's the first one. Uh, nine for corners, which there aren't really corners, but you know, there's, there's a corner there and here and up here, I guess. But uh, that was probably the one that was considered soft, I guess. But I also believe that they're also kind of rounded. At least on these. Yeah, I need a couple of nails. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. I was expecting probably about a 8.5 on this at best. So, a 9. I'm actually uh, satisfied with that. So, that's number 1. That's a good one. Stack that over here. Next one is a Topps Rookie, Base Rookie. I do like the label on that. That is the team match. And uh, yeah, corners a nine, surface a nine, edges 8.5, centering 9.5. I knew the centering was gonna be good. I thought this car might've got about a 9.5, um, but I guess not. So you can see All the corners and everything there. Um, still, I'm satisfied with a 9. It's not an 8 or an 8.5. These cars were... Well, I, I won on this one and lost on this one in, in the respect of me wanting to get a uh, higher grade. Oh, nice little sticker. Hope that doesn't pertain to my order. Here is... A flare. See, card match on this one. So wow, yeah, I I do like the uh, the card match with the gold there. Um, this one had some surface issues, so I'm actually happy with the nine. This is the flare showcase, class of '96. So very nice. So so far. Three nines, no nine fives, no tens, but, uh, you know. And, yeah, they, they got decent weight, but they're not too heavy, but they feel real nice. And they're nice and shiny, so. Yeah, this one, it has some surface scratches on the front and the back that I didn't pay attention to until I was taking them out of the cases. 
to ship them off and put them. So this is the Topps Draft Redemption. This one I was expecting a high grade on. Um, I felt that it looked decent. Centering on the back is, is really good. It's not perfect, but it's a, probably a good 55, 45, right? So let's see. Okay, I got a nine. Not sure where that one went. Corners, nine. Surface, nine, five. Edges. So basically I was half a grade. Uh, centering, nine, five. So the centering, yeah, the edges, okay. So what is that? Okay, that's on the outside. Front. All right. So I mean, I could see it on the on the edges just a little bit, but I felt that this was going to be a nine five, at least. Okay. So next. So that one's a little bit disappointing, but I'm still happy with a nine. So let's go here. Here's another hoops. And yeah, this looks like the front of the car. This is the back of the car. So this is a hoops, uh, Skybox Hoops Grants all rookie team. It's a rare card. It's like the EX2000, but this is the insert. I'm not expecting a high grade. I figured a seven because um, look at those edges. I just wanted it slabbed because it's a rare insert that really doesn't get no love. See, look at the corner. So I'm, I'm going to say a seven. If I get better than a seven, I'm happy. Okay, 7.5 and the label. I I like the label on that. So I am happy with a 7.5. See, because that corner there. Yeah, I overlooked um, a lot of the PSA and BGS grades, so I kind of compared mine to what was online, and uh, I told myself I'd be happy if I got above a 7, and I preferred an 8, but, you know, that was questionable whether I was going to actually get an 8 with those edges on the back. If I, I think if these edges weren't that bad, or that one chip right there soft corner, you know, maybe I would have gotten an eight. All right, so I don't want to go to this one, do I? Which one? I don't want to see it. Okay, that's my, that's my premier card that um, I'm kind of, um, okay, these are autographs. I promise you, I didn't see them. And maybe you, if you pause it, you might have. Okay, so here is another Flare, this is just the, basically the most common one, the base of row one, seat 31, section one. Um, it has some surface issues, so hopefully a nine. Yep. It has some surface scratches. I like the label, matches really well with the card actually. Um, probably my favorite label is this combo right here. I don't know, you can't go wrong with that. So, see what did I get? A nine five for corners. 8.5 for surface, which is understandable. The edges 9.5, centering 9.5. So, yeah, it is the surface that did it, which I also didn't realize until I was taking it out of my screw down. Yeah, screw down. And putting it in one of their simplified holders. So, what is that? That's lint. Okay. So, yeah, it's not in the car. So, that's good. So, yeah. You probably can't see the surface uh, scratches because it might be on the case itself. I don't know, but I'm happy with a nine. I like the label, matches really well. I'm still happier with the other one, the hoops. Okay, um, this one, <clears throat> this is a SP hollow view. I wasn't expecting a high grade on this one, maybe an eight, uh, because there's some edge wear. You can see it there. Some soft corners. 
right there and over here, but it is not a common insert. So I figured, you know what, I'll get this one slab. If I get an eight, I'm happy. If I get lower, I'm sad. 8.5 makes me happy, yes. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, because the, the hologram there and the glossy finish of the car, it can get some surface issues. So, yeah, surface is an 8. Edges 8.5, centering 9.5, corners. Okay, so that's that's fair. That's on par with what I thought, you know, when well, not specific grades, but it's on par where I thought the card was. So, yeah. See here, focus. I don't have a table set up in my game room where my recording, I can do the dual, you know, but so yeah, nice, nice. I don't know if a card match would have worked better or a team match, I'm not sure, but uh, either way, I, I like that. This card's kind of dark, isn't it? There we go. There's some texture in the background there. And... All right, so the next, okay, I could already see one. I'm, I feel like I'm cheating now. Let's go to the one I could see. Okay, so these are autographs. These are all three rookie autographs. Um, there's another one back here. You can see the congratulations. They're all three rookie autographs. All three of them are different. One of them, he only signed his um, first name, which is this one, and we're gonna start. I felt that all of these were gonna have a 10 autograph as well. I'm very picky about my autographs when I buy them to make sure they're fluid, make sure they're, they're not running off the card, and he didn't like sign, mess up, and then it's like, oh, I gotta correct, and then you know, go on and go further. So this is the scoreboard of 300. This one is serial number 275, and it is the gold foil version. There's a silver that's not numbered, and this is the gold. When I went to go buy it, I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna own one, let me get the serial number. So. Wasn't expecting a high grade. I'm going to say an 8. If I get better than an 8, I'm really happy. Okay, I got an 8. Exactly. And that label, man. So, yeah, I am... I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence now. What match better? Because... That maroon for the lower Marion actually stands out well. But, uh, here I'll throw that one up here. So, yeah, uh, corners got an eight, surface got an eight, edges an eight, centering a nine. Okay, so I figured the corners and the edges maybe, uh, look at that, a nice fluid autograph. Number 275 of 300. That's on the, so there's your corners here. Well, there we go. There's a corner. You know, I already knew that these had some soft corners to them, so it wasn't a big deal. I just woke up, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, got a little throat action. I'll sleep with a fan on. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, man, but uh, yeah, I just woke up. I knew these cards were here, and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta do this video before I go to work. So yeah, some soft corners there, some edge wear. You know, I already expected it. Like I said, so I was expecting about an eight, and if I got better, I'd be even happier. But an eight is what I expected, so I'm not disappointed. But man, I I love that label. I don't know it just it matches well and yes you're gonna see all these cards on ebay at some point i have a uh a seller uh limit that i am 
currently at right now so they won't be on ebay right now and yes i've had these cards for years um some of them for example the new editions here i've had that one probably since i was i'm 39 right now i've probably had that one since i was about 16 or 17 years old maybe 15 i do that one was actually one card i remember buying going into ej's card shop and i saw it and i was like gotta have it and it's actually a, a rare insert now it's not very common and it's going to be an expensive card but um yes all these cards are for sale you know i basically might as well sell while the market is high because these yes they have a lot of nostalgic value but i've had them for years i've enjoyed them for years so i was like you know what might as well sell them try to pay off my my two cars, you know, my wife's car, my car, if I can do any more than that, put some money aside for savings, which I already have. I've already sold quite a few cards already that were BGS graded. I went with BGS because um, I didn't even know about PSA when I was younger. I started collecting basketball cards in 96, um, basically when Kobe was a rookie. So saw one of his uh, upper deck cards and I was like, you know what? That dude looks cool. I'm gonna start collecting him. And that's where it started. So this is the press pass. Also got a 10 on the autograph, which I, I definitely expected. And I uh, figured the card was gonna be about an eight, which I accidentally saw it already. Uh, there's some edge wear, you know, some corner wear. This was probably the worst uh, condition out of my three autographs that I have. This is the press pass. And before I flip it over, it is, uh, is arguably the first between these two. Which card Kobe Bryant autographed first? He signed his last name on both cards and these are the only two cards that you can find as a rookie before 2009 when he signed a contract with Panini then he started signing his last name again I don't know if that was part of the contract or not but these are his only two rookie cards you can find with his last name all of them say Jess Kobe and I messaged one dude on uh on eBay, his actually had an eight on it. Uh, maybe I can show you a photo of that. I screenshotted it. And I told him that he needs to take that listing down and sell it for more, get it graded and, and sell it for more. Uh, but if it was great, I don't remember. Anyway, this is press pass. I'm gonna flip it over. I got an eight five. I am happy with that grade for sure. I was expecting probably an eight. Maybe the Surface is better. Yeah, Surface is a 9.5, so compared to this one. So that's where the difference was. I was expecting probably an 8.5 on this one. I was hoping for a 9. And this one, I was probably expecting a 7.5 to an 8, but 8 at the best. And so, yeah, see, edges, 7.5, corners. See, if this was Beckett, Beckett says they can only go, what, up half a point, I think. But HGA takes the full-on average. And then they round up or down accordingly. So if it's a if it averages out to a 9.25, the best you can get is a 9. If it averages above, so 9.26 and above, then you can get a 9.5. So that's how HGA, so here's your surface centering and both got a 9.5. And then corners got an 8 and edges, so yeah and before i get to the last card here um hopefully because i got no nine fives hopefully this is the one hopefully uh just cross your fingers for me but um what was i gonna say oh surface is the biggest area of the card and then your edges is the next biggest area of the card and then corners and then centering probably has 
the less weight when it's a card like this who doesn't have like a, a border and so I don't know how to do the centering but the back is a little if you're if you're looking at this part I guess but yeah that nice nice label on that one as well so man I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about this one because this was the one that I was really like you know what I hope I get a 9.5 on this card. It is, it is nice. It's got some very, very, very slight edge wear. You know, very slight. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm nervous to flip this one over. But look at them corners. It's got some nice, nice sharp corners there. Look at that. Sharp as my fingernails, no. <laughs> but uh, man. <sighs> Okay, I'm closing my eyes. I'm not even looking, I promise you. Okay, I got a nine. So where did that one go wrong? Surface. <sighs> kind of disappointed in that one. I love I love the label match. That was one thing that I was kind of worried about. Uh, but I love the label match. So corners got a nine five. All right, surface got an eight point five. Not sure how the surface, I mean, it's not a gloss. It's like a uh, eggshell to a, you know, some uh, similar to a matte, like, I don't know. Edges got a nine, a centering got a nine five. Edges, I don't know. So if I were to calculate, let's see real quick. Where's my calculator over here on my iPad, so. Oh, she wants me to update. Okay, here we go. Calculator. So let's do this real quick. I don't know. Okay, clear. 9.5 plus 8.5 plus 9 plus 9.5 is a 36.5 divided by 4 gives you a 9.125. So there you go. If I would have got a half a grade better on one of the surface, on the surface or the edges, it wouldn't have done it for me still. So that one's a little disappointing, but um, I am happy for the nine. I, I am happy still. Just I was expecting higher grade than that. But look at the autograph. Nice fluid. Autograph flowy. Number 132 of 390. This one will be on eBay eventually. I don't know when it will be. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I got no no nine fives in this whole sub, so that's a little disappointing. I was expecting two, possibly nine fives. So recap. Here's the nine. Nice matching label. So when I did the uh, the team it actually, instead of the card match, so uh, I'm glad that they recognize that's a high school card. Same with this one. Can you see the autograph on that? Look at that. They should have made a, a space. Oh, and by the way, if you see this card with the foil on it, silver or gold foil, those are variations of the card, but they're not autographed. Only the plain one is an autographed version. So if you see that and it's autographed, it's fake. Or it's not a true, you know, I'm not saying they didn't see him in person, but I mean, if they have proof and whatever that they saw him in person and got an autograph, then okay, but it's still not a rookie autograph. All right, so here's this one. Nice autograph there, Kobe. And they do stack very well. And they don't stack tight like everybody was talking about initially. Nice six Fleer, NBA Hoops, Grant Hills, all rookie team. You know, I didn't look at the label to see if there was any um, spell errors. Spelling errors. So let's check real quick. Scoreboard autographed collection, Kobe. 
press pass. Okay. Press pass, authentics, autographs, and scoreboard autographed basketball. So yeah, no errors on that. I've seen some where like, the latest one I think I've seen was Giannis, his last name, and I can't say it, I'm not gonna try. It was spelled wrong. Uh, Upper Deck SP Premium Collection Hollow View. So you win some, you lose some. You know, I'm still happy for the nine though. I am. Player showcase, Kobe Bryant, a nine. Tops draft picks. Wonder why they they call it tops draft picks, but everywhere else it's tops draft redemption. Anyway, I mean, I know the, the official name is D, the card number is DV13, but. Man, I like, I like that. It matches well. Um, but it is white, and this card isn't. It's more of an off-white, but if they could have matched that, the off-white, to that, man, that would have even, that would have made this card like a 10. <laughs> you know, but, uh. Flare Showcase, Class of 96, number 420. Look at that, 420, and it's green on the back. I don't smoke, by the way. Tops Base. It's funny how they actually say that, because it's just a 96, 97 Tops. Um, but, you know, I guess through photos and stuff, people may say, because I've seen some where the photos you know, it's hard to tell if it was because of glare and reflection, whatever. If it was a foil or a chrome. This one. Wish it was a little greener. But in the in person, this is more turquoise. It is a little greener than... I don't know. It's a... It's hard to say. But this is right here. This is this is definitely blue. And that would match the uh, the background well right there. But uh, I would say this, make it a little bit greener to the actual cards instead of turquoise. But uh, yeah, I got no label errors. And there you have it. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, those are... My Kobe cards right there. I got, I sent 10. I bumped the camera. Tell me what you think. I'm happy overall for the grades. Um, just disappointed on a couple of them because I expected a little bit higher. But, you know, overall, I am, I did better than expected if you consider the overall grades. Um, but, yeah and uh if you want i'll end the video now for those of you but if you want to hear my actual story submitting and everything then just continue on and stay right here and i will tell you my story or should i you know what i don't know okay so yeah i'll just tell you my story okay so what happened was i submitted my cards in february on the I want to say it was the third submission and I, I scheduled a pickup from the post office I think I I messed up so no anyway this I'm gonna start off with saying this isn't HGA's fault this is just the post office and also HGA is business hours so you know again it's, it's not their fault I just ended up having the uh, perfect storm I guess of things I paid for 10 days uh, submission for all this so I submitted and man I don't remember the date because it's it's on my phone um, but I submitted a pickup on a Saturday they didn't pick it up and then I submitted another pickup scheduled to pick up for a Monday and I woke up Mail wasn't here, so I grabbed the box, and then the mail showed up later, and so I ran outside, handed them the, the package. They picked it up later, because uh, they delivered my mail that day later. 
And so it said, okay, it was going to be scheduled delivery by Friday. I was like, okay. And so it got there. It was out for delivery on a Friday, but HGA's business hours, they were already closed um, by the time they were going to deliver. So it, it said deliver to an agent. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? I've never seen that in my life. Never even heard of that before. So I Googled it and kept looking it up. And apparently it has to do with, like, if it's a, a home address, they might have delivered it to your neighbor. Your neighbor knows you, and they're, they're like, hey, they told me to, you know, pick up the box for them. I'll hold it, and I'll give it to them. Okay, that's understandable. But this is a business, so I didn't know what that meant. All in all, at the end of the day, um, doing further Google research, it appeared that it was left at the post office, and so they had to go pick it up. Okay, well... The HGA works 8 to 5, so it was delivered after hours. So it stayed at the post office on Friday. So it didn't get delivered Saturday because their business is closed. And Sunday, of course, the post office don't deliver unless it's Amazon. But I don't even know if post office delivers for that anymore since Amazon's been doing more vehicles and, and vans. And anyway, but um, so I messaged them on on Monday afternoon say hey just want to know if you got my package you know because it said delivered to an agent they said check back within a couple of days uh, more than likely it's at the <clears throat> more than likely it's at the post office i said okay you know i just want to know if they got my package or not so tuesday i let tuesday go i let wednesday and so then i think it was wednesday it was a monday tuesday I think it was Thursday afternoon. I said, "Hey, I just want to know if you got my if you got my order." And they said, "Hold on, let me check. What's your email?" And I said, "Okay." They said, "Yes, we got it." I was like, "Okay, good." And that's all I needed to know was that you got my order. So this was on a Thursday. It was confirmed that they had my order. So it's ten business days. So Thursday, Friday. Because they're not open Saturday and Sunday. So then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that is seven business days. So by that Friday, that following Friday, they said it was going to be on the 12th. It was going to be out for uh, shipping. So ship date, yeah. Ship date right there, 312. So all in all, they were accurate with you know their um their times and everything it's just i had to deal with the delivery to agent their hours and all that so if you're going to create an order i would suggest if you're worried about it being out of your hands i suggest that you ship it off on a monday or better yet ship it off on a saturday because by the time it arrives there, hopefully it'll be there on a Monday or a Tuesday where they can get it and start processing your order as soon as possible. And then you can get it faster. So anyway, that was a, a small rant. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't HGA's fault. You know, it was just like a perfect storm of things. And so I was just a little anxious because, you know, if you look at the value, some of these cars... Um, you know, I know there's no nine fives and and tens, you know, so that lowers the value overall. But um, anyway, so yeah, I, I have enough. That was that's 34 minutes already. So um, anyways, my channel is it's a gaming channel primarily. This is not cards. Going forward, it's not going to be a bunch of card videos. But uh, if you want to subscribe, just subscribe, knowing this is primarily a gaming channel. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next video, whether it's cards or gaming. But it's going to be most likely gaming. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway, if you stayed this long, thanks for watching. Um, so yeah.